everyone, this is Edwin and today we are back in the studio. Today I will show you how to make a Lucas and Steve type drop with FL Studio plugins only. I will do as few cuts as possible for a longer form of content. I hope you guys will enjoy this. Many of you requested it. Let me know which artist you want me to cover in the next videos. So let's jump straight to it. First of all, we want to make a nice chord progression, something uplifting. I think uplifting is really the word that describes Lucas and Steve. So I know this one, the Flex plugin is really great. It has nice presets. Let's try something like minor chord. And I will put one more here. Another major chord here. Another one. Let's go. I like to add a little variation after that. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Okay, let's clone this and let's layer it. It sounds quite thin here. Let's put this on number 12 and I will paste this here. It's a bit brighter. I will also crank up the velocity, control A, alt, mouse wheel to make everything more loud. Sounds more like you're playing really strong, really with a lot of strength, like a chad on your piano. We want a nice chad house piano. I just want to remove some of the lower frequencies from the piano. I know it's not the best time to do it, but that's what I do. And already make some room for the lead here and remove the very higher frequencies here. And we can even add a variation here. Yeah, it adds some romanticism in the track i don't know it's, it's quite a boomer word right romantic chad piano let's add a nice kick drum already to get the track pumping as quickly as possible yeah this is pretty good okay f4 kick let's go here we are I want to make this kick a little shorter. Okay. All right, let's take the lower note and put the three OSC for the sub. I guess it's the best one for this, so. Here we go with the sub. Press F2 a few times to change the color. Now I will use this nice uh, gross beat FL Studio uh, preset, which is great for a sub. So just use the sidechain mode. Make the notes slightly longer. Same 
gross beat on the piano with sidechain. And it's pretty strong here, strong sidechain, but we wanna make it less strong. The volume doesn't go as low as it is right now. Better. Immediately you wanna add some reverb to this piano and get rid of the stock reverb that's in these two presets. It's slightly different. I want the same reverb on all the instruments if possible. So I rooted the piano to the reverb and now I'm gonna add a fruity reverb, which is the best reverb in the world until now. Okay. Decrease the high cut a little bit, not too bright. We can even, we can even add some uh, sidechain on this one, just to, to make the reverb groove a little bit. Let's go. Next up, let's add some nice claps here. Okay, this should be enough, this should be good. So nice claps. And it's important to use different types of claps together and root them to the same bus. You use different sounds which do not add up too much and it adds some richness to the sound. So I'm gonna add some reverb to them. And add the fruity limiter here, which will act as a compressor in compressor mode, lower threshold, higher ratio. Just listen to the clap. We want to make the attack a bit longer. Yeah, just so it pops a little bit more. We want to make a drums bus here where we will root all our percussions. So the kick, same here. Why are we doing this? because then we can compress them a little bit and they will sound more like together, playing together. Now on to the part you're all waiting for, the lead sound. I'm gonna use a nice super so. So to make a super so, I'm gonna use the three OSC. I'm gonna take random notes here and paste them to this three OSC. We're gonna turn this into a super so, so all the octaves are the same and pan them slightly left and right. These are our three layers. We are going to fine tune this. Change the envelope a little bit. So we want it to be quite short with some release. And we want to double this. And since we want to play these two or more layers together, we're going to add a layer, layer. <laughs> and we are going to click on the layer and then on these instruments set children and we have said that children, they can go to bed and we can now root these two layers to another bus here. Root it to a reverb. And as you can see, these two are playing together, which is amazing, but they are playing the same, exact same. So we don't want that. And we want to push this one, one octave up. And we want to push this down. And we want to detune the lower of the two a little bit more. Um, 
Let's add a flute-ish instrument. Is there any flute? Pan flute, oh. Doesn't sound that good. Pan flute. I think this is pretty nice. I'm gonna use it. And route it to the same, exact same layer as the other leads. We are going to uh, compress these lead sounds a little bit using a threshold that's lower, ratio that's about 3. Okay, and I really want to remove some low end from it. And very important, add a sidechain here. There we go. I will use the same shape as the sub, but I will make it very much higher. I will take the one from the piano actually. I will click here, save preset as, but you maintain the click and then you drop it. We are going to improve the melody, don't worry about that. Okay, let's improve the melody. <laughs> I think there are too many layers that have higher frequencies here. So... Okay, there we go. a nice layer here uh, with harmless maybe always had nice sounds in it <laughs> second super soul layer was too much it's adding up some sort of bad harmonics or I don't know what this sounds better I think we can go with that let's try this one a bit too loud with the limiter on 
it's uh, quite pushing the limiter to the limits. So let's put a high pass and that way and we lower the volume a little bit. Where is the limiter? It's here. I'm going to remove some of the frequencies around 1.5k. Let's add a piano layer to this melody, playing the same melody. Okay, I need to identify now which one of these has some bad resonances. I think this one, this one needs to be a little bit cleaner. For some reason, it has uh, resonances, and we want to get rid of these. Especially higher frequency. Okay. If you just support the other instruments, so. Oh, this one's long. This one's still a bit too long. And we can add a nice pad. Let's go some chords. Let's go. I will solo this. Wow, church. And what is good is change a little bit these chords. And change the height of the notes. And Ctrl G to glue them. Woo! Let's find another one. I want something a bit more like a core, core, core air. Not bad, not good. I want. I will use the flex one, which is pretty good for many things. So let's try search in all tag. Maybe let's see this. Ooh. This is pretty good. I will change. I will choose the piano pad because it sounds a bit more smooth and not too high. And again. Again and again, I will use some some of these and really is a little bit of sidechain here, not too much. But you want it very wide, very, very wide. I will use some fruity stereo shaper like that. 
and I will compress it, making the volume a little bit more consistent, so like that. I want to add some delay on the lead, so... Just a little bit. Let's compress the drums together with the Fruity Limiter compressor mode threshold a little bit down. And again, let's keep some of the attack here. Okay, sounds just a little bit more coherent, some reverb on the hi-hat. Last but not least, a nice crash slash white noise, crash, there we go, there we go, the Lucas and Steve drop! So that's it for today, bro producers, seducers, cat producers. Let me know what you think of this track. You can download the Fruity Loops project at the link in the description below. I have a lot of fun doing these more spontaneous type of videos. Let me know what you want for the next video. Take care. And of course, and of course, and of course, don't forget to pray. I forgot to pray today. Damn. Don't forget to pray to a full studio god. See you in the next video.